And Rick, uh, since we're uh, talking about celebrities, um, I, I hate I hate this today. With sad news, we announced that Paul the Octopus, the uh, the tentacled tipster who fascinated world <laughs> soccer fans reads. by predicting him. results in the World Cup, died Tuesday. Rick, uh, the tentacled tipster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading the story. <laughs> so, so, so this octopus that, that was so that was so brilliant. Now, what what killed it? What, what, how did it die? Well, Rick, they said this is crazy. He actually choked on a soccer ball. <laughs> 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 a disgruntled no, they, 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 they say here that uh, Paul reached the octopus old age of two years and died what? in his tank Tuesday morning at the Sea Life Aquarium in western Germany. Don't live too Paul years. correctly, uh, correctly uh, predicted the outcome of all seven of Germany's matches in the World Cup. He made his predictions by opening the lid of one of two clear plastic boxes, each containing a muscle and bearing a team flag. Um, now you remember he was everybody loved him when he was predicting Germany would win, oh, yeah. but then he predicted that Spain, Spain. would win. Yeah, they killed him, and Spain did win, and everybody got mad because they thought like Paul brought it on. They poisoned him. him. Somebody got him. Yeah, there's he, no he, way to. He went night. to the local sushi bar, folks. Don't I was. I'm out. wondering if we could get back there to see Paul. <laughs> My children want to see him. <laughs> we promise not to touch. <laughs> Say touch again. Touch. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> you know, there was Does someone something. know why Paul is sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> I work in touch again somehow. Someone has given him a touch. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta I don't admit know it was. That's funny. It was kind of creepy to see him floating down and up. Oh, it was. Weird. By the way, oh, it's that's a creepy. creepy it's creepy to see an octopus do that? anything. That's a creepy. Working animal. things that rhyme with touch, so I can get that same. I'm glad they only live two years. I Boy, know it. I'd hate for them. We feed him muscles and such. <laughs> <laughs> don't be in a rush. Oh gosh. Your leg is hurt. You need a crutch. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I have now no you, idea you realize, funny. I have no idea. You realize after this, it, it, <laughs> there was just a, a series of animals no, predicting. No, not that. That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You know, there was a series of animals that started predicting things after this. Oh, yeah, squirrels. It started a trend. Squirrels, monkeys. Uh, let's see. We had the, uh, the parakeet in Singapore. We had Lorenzo the parrot in uh, another spot in Germany. We had a saltwater crocodile named Dirty Harry that predicted things. <laughs> I love uh, that. <laughs> and how about this? He predicted the outcome of Australia's general election by snatching a chicken carcass dangling beneath a character <laughs> of a prime minister. Well, you knew it was bad when it got out of hand when people had one cell animals predicting stuff. Yeah, yeah you know, that, that got You a didn't silly. know what they really did. Uh, Trust yep. me, he just picked Germany. <laughs> <laughs> the amoeba says... Poxitani <laughs> Fields picking the weather. Remember that? Did the you, seasons, not the weather. Did you ever feel like when you were in, in school, and I've already seen this stuff go home, did you feel like you kind of wasted your time studying about amoebas and all that? Does that ever come into play? I know. Mm. I've mm. never come across one. You remember that? that I, I remember one of the skin on the animals we all know. You know that's well, all, it's interesting. Let's, you let's need to cover bears. it, but quite yeah. frankly, we spend too much time. Right. I mean, you re, we really bog down on amoebas and – you know, Let's get on to Archimedes, something that we can use. Right. I mean, you know, I, I mean, the carnivore. I, not once in my life have I been just it's stymied by somebody saying, Can you name the parts of a one cell animal? It's never come back up. I mean, right. I've never had to deal with it. Are there I more than one part? Yeah, well, I think you know, we talk about it's one remember, cell. That's remember, it, isn't it? Remember, had the outer wall cell? and the inside. Oh, yeah. All the goo. Yeah. Remember then plants. We spent too much time on plants, too. Yeah. Remember you had to know the stirrup, all that? No, yeah, or is that your ear? We just had that. <laughs> <laughs> It all runs together. The anvil. Yeah. yeah our ear, that was your ear. Our, okay. Our ear is strangely a lot like plant. Yeah. They are. It looks a little bit like it. Work in one more before we get a break. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's it. You're out. I, got it. I understand. Tell them not to rush. <laughs> <laughs> That's, not, That's not a UCH world. Thank you for being with us. Uh, you can reach us, 866-WE-BE-BIG. Bubba, we, we've talked a lot. And, and, you know, other than the Hitler mustache, um, trends, hairstyles, clothing, it runs in circles. You know, the the 70s, you know, it came back and rocked a while, hung around a while, went back to hip huggers, and even had bell bottoms come back through. And 
you know, hairstyles just they they run the course. You know, they come they come back around. Now, I don't know whether the angel wings will come back or not. Oh, sure, uh, but I'm do. sure, sure they, they will. They do. You're talking okay. about the butt cut. Yeah, yeah. And but you remember you take them back a little angel wings oh, inside yeah, with the hairspray. Like butt, no butt cut. Yeah. So. Oh, I, I love the angel wings, and yeah. and you know the Hitler mustache actually made a comeback. <laughs> But we moved it to our chin. You're right. Exactly you know? right. Exactly so, uh, right. That's, uh, you know, we just never have gone back to that exact look. You're talking about ruining a style well, for everybody. Well, now that Germany's starting to embrace the Hitler era as a great tourism ploy, mm-hmm. maybe it will. I, I don't Who know. Who knows? It's a uh, really ugly mustache. Though. Yeah, I just don't think, you know, they got this new thing where you go through and you learn about, the, you know, the, the Nazis and all this in Germany as a, as a tourist attraction. I just don't think they'll ever get to the point like when you go in Disney World where the characters come to greet you. I don't think there'll be a guy dressed as Hitler coming out there welcoming you. Probably <laughs> no, not. No, 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 no. But but anyway, um, you should know, we I, call Hitler mustache here. You know how we'll call facial hair. Yeah, oh yeah. Should we call it for a month? No, Greg. No. That'd be fun. No. How about just a day? No, no, no Greg. It's One day. No, we're already no. calling standing it's right out. now. So y'all just, don't have to. I choose to stand. Y'all don't have to. Uh, but w- w- I've noticed. You know, when, you know, I've got. To, you know, my daughter's in Philadelphia, and you know, she's she's always been in the artsy world. So you know, they don't follow trends. Because they're too artsy for no, that. They they're, set trends. They're, 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 too they're anti-trends. They go against yeah, trends. Th- then you got the you know the oldest son who's who's playing football. So he just goes from my hair's shaving or it's not shaving. You uh-huh. know what I mean? So he does the the, the high the, and then you have the elementary school boys who who are just old enough to want to be on the latest trends. <laughs> and and they've gone to this new thing. Like you said, it's not new. It, it's coming back. Yeah. It's not quite the Beatles. But you know that you know we they went through the thing one time where their bangs would hang over one eye. Yeah, the which cyclops, I, which look. I called yeah. the cyclops. Mm-hmm. Right. And now they've gone to where their bangs come right here, but they do this: they sling their head yes. and throw it over to. The, I call it the Justin Bieber. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, but then they won't call it that because they think Justin Bieber's not cool. But yet they're wearing his hairstyle. <laughs> right. I mean, right. how about this? Taz's hair looks exactly like that. Right. Exactly like that. <laughs> and Big Love, of course, who is always on the cutting edge of the of, of the cool. <laughs> Um, but, but what it is, I now have this 11 and nine year olds and they look like they, no offense. Cause I know people struggle with this. Like they've got some kind of tick or something. Now they'll be sitting there also in the head and go, and they'll just throw their head. Right. I said, what are you doing? But we're getting my hair over to the side <gasps> and they'll just sling their head. Well, my favorite is when they do that and they don't have bangs long enough to, and it doesn't even move. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're doing like, yeah. I'm like, son, your bangs aren't <laughs> moving. What are you doing? And I said, guys, <laughs> you feel like that Saturday night live skit with the two guys. Right. Right. And I oh, said, yeah. I said, I said, guys, you're going to hurt your neck. What is this? Because you'll be driving along. So, hey, hey guys, how was your day at school day? Well, we had the, and then uh, we had, and I was like, what was that? We're trying to pop you, your neck. I'm like, are you okay? What happened? Oh, no, we're just doing our hair. And I said, guys, can't you just do your hand to move? Oh. What, do quit jerking your hand like that. That can't be good for you. Did, did, did they? Did y'all, did they did My they, favorite is to say some of the football players cool, try to though. do it with their helmets on. No, they do. <laughs> oh, they got oh, like helmets on. Well, they got so used to it right. just yeah. to have it. It's now, become yeah. it's become habitual. You're right to them, and like I'll just be talking <laughs> to them. Say so, so. What is that? But report, uh, guys. What? what something yeah. fly over you? What? Yeah, I thought Tyler. Serious business. It goes t- same thing. You know, Tyler's just thirteen. JC's nine. So he's on the cutting edge too. JC wants the long stuff, but he looks like a porcupine now because he had a buzz cut. So yeah, you know, until right. it gets there, right now he looks like you know yeah. it's just sticking straight up. Right. But uh, Tyler was doing this the other day, and I walked over to him and said, "What's up? You know, will you need me?" I thought I thought he was saying, "Come here, <laughs> like come here." <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, he was, I, and I'm like, "What are you doing? Where did they learn that you? I mean." I mean, it's just the craziest looking thing, and uh, ever. Yeah, and and I don't I don't understand what it's. You know, they let it grow down here, yeah, tight, and, and, and then they sling now, it, and then they sling off. it. Right, but they can't touch it. It's like there's a no yeah, touch no, no, rule. No, no, no. You yeah. can't. You, if you can't yeah. sling it, then it's just going to leave it hanging. Yeah, I mean that looks like Brody's hair right there. Just, Brody looks. Matter of fact, like, it's amazing. That is, put the picture of Brody back up and look. I mean, it's hey, amazing Brody. how much he looks yeah, like he Justin is. Bieber. I mean, really, you know? he does. I mean, and, and now he, that's going to drive yeah, look him. Right cra- there. Look at All right, then we got to go back here. I gotta, yeah. Look at we found one in the studio. Yeah, we got one in the studio back here. Yeah. Got a couple his of them. Yeah. How's your it. neck? Yeah, it, 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 look, look, we got two on the back row. Have y'all slung your hair? Do you feel the need, the need to sling it right now? Go ahead. Glenn Beck, sling your stew. See if we'll jump over there. Yeah, I, I can't get my name. Glenn Beck. Matthew, he's got it like he likes it. I'm telling you, right? Is he out there? Sling it. Yeah, let's see you do it one time. Make sure it's right. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it moves. I'm telling you. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.